Rocket League, but it's fully controlled by motion controls. This is an idea I've had for some time, but to know how we got here, we have to go back a little. A while back, I was perusing YouTube as one does when I came across the YouTuber Fundy. I noticed a video of theirs where they controlled Minecraft using dance moves, and I thought to myself, what if I figure out how to do this, but for Rocket League, one of my favorite games of all time. Here's the concept. We're going to have a camera. This camera is going to send its video feed to my code. The code is going to take this video and determine what kind of pose I'm making. Am I holding my arms up? Am I doing a headstand? Am I doing the Naruto pose? Whatever. And then with that pose, it's going to say, hey, do this action in Rocket League. Now that that's covered, I had to figure out what Rocket League actions were the most important and what poses I would do for them. Okay, so holding my arm out to the right will turn the car right. Holding my arm to the left will turn the car left. Close to my chest is forward. Break is just holding our hands down to the side. Jumping is jumping. Boost, uh, yeah, I really, yeah. Mm, <laughs> moving on. Nothing is when I'm just at my computer or crouching or need to work on something. And then if I walk off the screen, it'll actually forfeit the game, which we'll get into later. Now that we had all the poses determined, it was time to train the neural net. After hours and hours of just making poses in front of a camera and looking like a fool, the neural net was finally starting to recognize them. Obviously there were some bugs to work on, but it felt like a solid foundation. So I decided to throw the code into the fire and go live to test it out. Um, you can see that it's like, it's obviously laggy, but that's because it's happening in the browser. Future me here. Turns out I didn't enable hardware acceleration in my browser. Here's it without it, all laggy, turn it on and boom, nice and smooth. Oh well, I'll show you guys what we have right now. <laughs> All right, so click resume game. And then basically if I back up here, this should be left and this is forward, right, forward, jump. Perfect. <laughs> Between the tracking being incredibly laggy and only having a few trained actions to control the car, I was struggling to even hit the ball. Oh my God, this is like so hard to do. All right, let's just see what happens if we like try to play against somebody. Maybe it won't be that bad. All right, well, that's just, that's just rude. Where are all the bad people at? It was clear that we had a long way to go. Between the lag and the poses not being recognized, I was at a standstill. So I went offline and continued to code. After what felt like countless hours of coding, retraining the neural net with more poses and testing it in Rocket League training, I finally felt good about giving things another shot. I made a fresh Rocket League account, so hopefully I'd come up against easier people. And with everything set to go, I hit the live button. I'm really excited to show you guys what improvements have been made since last time. Back. Yeah, my first time. First time. What is this, like your starter Pokemon? So I've got all this indication below me, which hopefully you guys can see, of uh, what tracking we have going on. You know how people like name themselves whoever on Xbox or whatever? I really wanted to name myself Rillo on mo motion controls but that wasn't, it was too long. So we're just Rillo in motion instead, but you know, it works out. Let's get one goal in training just to kind of get our bearings. And then let's, let's hop into an actual game and see if, and see if we can, uh, if we can get a goal. Okay, that's our, that's our first goal with the new motion controls. Everything was actually working really smoothly and I was feeling great. So much so that, uh, well, we had a couple ridiculous ideas to try. You need a what a save spam control for when you win a middle finger. It doesn't sense, I guess I could make it like, like just when I hold one arm up. Dumbest thing ever. <laughs> now what should happen is if I walk off, it should forfeit. <laughs> yes, let's go. 
Now, if we're pissed, we have an easy out. With the code running smoothly and everything working, I figured it was time to head into a game and see if we could get a win. So we're about to go into our first game and just try to see if we can win. No! No! Can stop! We just scored the first online goal ever with motion controls. That's awesome. And that was like uh, against a real person. I think we can get a win, guys. I think we can get a win. I think I might have been a little too optimistic. We have to take a step back and just remember that we're literally playing Rocket League with motion controls right now. And uh, literally last week, I didn't even think that'd be possible. That's how we fucking do it. That's how we start right there. Come on, baby. Dang it, dude. It wouldn't stop turning. It wouldn't stop turning left. Shambles. I'm throwing. Oh, huge shot. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We just got to hold this lead. We got to hold this lead. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dude, I need like, I need like a literal bot. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the only way this is going to happen. Uh, now we're talking. Maybe not. Maybe not. Bob's kind of cracked. Dude, I, I think, I think Bob is, uh, dude. Oh. Okay, bro. Please go in. Please, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, dude. Cool, calm, collected. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh, it's just not, it's not going to happen. This guy's too competent. Match after match, loss after loss, things were starting to feel a little bit hopeless. But I knew all I needed was that one person, that one new player that just maybe wasn't the best at the game. And after a while of playing, we came across the legend, Winding Gizmo. I never restarted it. I never restarted the script. I was gonna say it's crazy to me that I'm only down one goal right now, but. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I kind of saw that one coming. Holy shit. All right, we can focus up and get our win here. Two to three, not bad, not bad. I think this is possible. I think this is possible. Oh, they're readying up. Oh, they want another. Winding Gizmo seemed like they wanted to play again, and I was ecstatic about this. I thought this was our best chance of getting a win. And so I readied up, and here's what happened. We gotta work on the kickoff. We gotta work on the kickoff. Oh. Oh, imagine if I had saved that. Let's go. All me. All me, you know? If it takes them to score for me, I'll take it. Under one. Go! Let's 
go. Let's go. Oh my god, guys. What a fucking save. Let's go. The first to win with motion controls ever against winding gizmo oh my gosh they said we couldn't do it oh. <laughs> and don't think this is where we stop with the motion controls i got plenty of plans in the works all right let's try it let's try to do it again the hard work the troubleshooting all of it it was entirely worth it it was a ton of fun doing this project and I think I can confidently say that we have the first motion control Rocket League win. But the real question is, what game do we use motion controls with next? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.